Well, it's long been a scientific theory that asteroids might unravel many questions about the beginning of our planet, but humanity has yet to capture a sample until now. Uh, so many questions out there. Utah is about to play a vital role in a NASA mission called OSIRIS-REx that might answer some of those questions. Fox 13 News reporter Spencer Joseph recently traveled to the Dugway Proving Grounds where they are preparing for its big arrival. Far out in the West Desert sits the Dugway Proving Grounds, an army base steeped in history. But shortly, another chapter important to the history of how we all came to be will unfold for those scientists and soldiers here. OSIRIS-REx is a mission that went out to an asteroid called Bennu, uh, studied it for a couple of years, took a sample from the surface of the asteroid and brought it back to Earth. Its name is OSIRIS-REx, the very first attempt to bring back an asteroid sample to Earth to answer the question of how we came to be. We are looking for where are the origins of life coming from. Fox 13 News got a look inside the operation as they were prepping for the return from outer space on September September 24th. Uh, so this is asteroid Bennu. This is the most dangerous rock in the solar system. So how is this all going to work? One, and liftoff of OSIRIS-REx, its seven-year mission to boldly go to the asteroid Bennu and back. Launching on September 8th, 2016, the OSIRIS-REx mission is unlike any other. Land on an asteroid and collect a sample and head back to Earth. And after a four-year mission to the asteroid Bennu, in October of 2020, it succeeded in capturing a sample. We're bringing the samples home. This is actual footage from the spacecraft capturing its goal. And in it, you can see the capsule that's holding the sample. Remember that for later. Now it's on its return mission, and in two months, the capsule carrying all of the valuable payload will shoot off from OSIRIS and enter the atmosphere over California. Uh, within two minutes, it'll be at the Nevada-Utah uh, border, and a drogue chute will come out, then a main parachute, and it is targeted to land in the center of the Utah Test and Training Range. So why Utah? Well, Lindsey Carl explains. To be able to see it coming in and offering a, a huge open space where it can do so safely without, I mean, there's no, no harm to the public or even our, our, our personnel on the ground. Remember that capsule being stowed on the spacecraft? Well, they're practicing with an exact replica. And now for the next two months, they'll be training for every possible scenario. How do we keep everybody safe on the ground? And how do we recover the capsule in a most expeditious manner to preserve the science? The sample will be tracked by these large cameras and then flown by a helicopter to a clean room. And what you're looking at right now is a temporary clean room that our curation team has coordinated being set up here um, to do the initial processing of the SRC after it comes in. Once it's prepped, it will be flown to Johnson Space Center in Houston, where scientists around the country and the world will attempt to answer the questions of early parts of our solar system and potentially humankind itself. And for those getting ready in Utah, like Richard Witherspoon, that makes many years of leading up to this point all worth it. Uh, to know that the capsule is coming back and we're going to actually touch something that went to space and came back, uh, it's like the anticipation you have as a child for when Christmas is coming up, it's that, but like times 10. Such an incredible wow. experience to go out there and see all of these scientists working together. I mean, there's so many different people that know so many different amazing scientific things that I had no idea what they were talking but about. But yet still don't know so much, right? <laughs> no, it's so ironic. It, it so? really is, and it's to answer all these questions, right? Oh. Well, you know, you know, it's really interesting. Utah has for a long time been involved in the space program in a whole bunch of different aspects. What else? are we doing? What else is Utah doing or showing up in this project? Yeah, yeah well, that's actually a great question. So uh, one of the big things that you saw in that package is those images, those iconic, you know, pieces of the rock being closed in the capsule, right? Well, Utah State University and the Space Dynamics Laboratory, they're actually designed the cameras that went on OSIRIS-REx. Oh, so all wow. of these amazing images we're getting back and inspiring us. Well, 
it was all because of Utah. <laughs> Utah on the map. <laughs> right, exactly, right? Somewhere we in this galaxy. How, we know how to oh, do it. Yeah, so Show that, that really quick. This is pretty cool. So this is a patch that they got, and it, it, if you can see it, it's actually got the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex on there, and it's capturing the asteroid. I thought I brought it out because I thought that was just the coolest thing. Named Osiris Rex. Yeah, yeah. Rex, right? You can put that on your coat. I, I got to look it up, and Osiris stands for Origin Spectral Interpretation Resource Identification Security Regulith Explorer. Wow. <laughs> I'm glad they went with Osiris. Osiris, Osiris. Osiris. That was easier to say. <laughs> Thanks, Spencer. Thank you so All much. Right. That was cool. <laughs>